crush casing, but that's all right because there's an objective today. And as we could see, hidden signal under the brush. So, cellar hole, old road trail where Wainos is, rock wall. This section, clean it and dig every signal. And a bullet. But again, where I pulled all that brush up, signals underneath. Oh, I think that's uh, maybe part of a, a bit, you know, like a horse bit. Or it's not. And that's where I'm at for targets so far. No idea what that thing is. Buenos check in. Uh, lead in 22s, but <laughs> started over there and I'm. Um sweeping my way across because a few weeks ago I came through here and dug a 22 and it was a coupling. Right. Same signal, same sound. Are you finding the 22 casings are shiny and new? A lot of them, yeah. Yeah, weird, right? Yeah, almost like a polished brass with a little bit of dirt on them. They shouldn't be that new no. where we are. <laughs> right. <laughs> And that's where I'm at so far. All dug signals, a couple uh, leaf kickers, but Wayno's just got something good. And you can see his tread marks where he started, 22, 22, 22, 22, 22, and yep. you got here. Yeah, I got here and I broke off a piece of a thimble. Oh, you a little panel there. Yeah. I don't know if it was just that broken shard or if the whole thing was there, but 22 signal all yep. day long. Yep. 47, 48, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're ringing up all over the place. Yeah, I had a 22 long that was a, a 52. It was like 49, 52, bouncing back and forth. But Keep digging them. Yep, this stuff. Got to get these 22s out of here so you can actually hear what's in the <laughs> ground. Right. Because this is probably where everybody was just sending their 22s to, to dump. I don't think I've ever seen that many 22s in a short span. Well, maybe one other site, but that was several years ago. Here we go. I got a relic. That is the part that would go into the draw to hold the draw pull hanger, whatnot. This would go through the escutcheon. Beautiful. So that's on the 23rd dig, a relic. That's what it's uh, taking here. This is our burn down site, so. Burn down hangout site. But that's awesome. There we go. 
go, another one. Part of a lantern. Plug number 24. Two in a row. But we're getting somewhere, I guess, with the cleanup. Get weave. Iron gear. I think my initial signal was maybe the sheet metal. But there seems to be a lot of stuff in the ground up against the wall here, as usual. Well, it should be a different one. It was 8-3-11-90. Wow. <laughs> like spinning the wheel of fortune. <laughs> That's a stretch. <laughs> Gotta know. Oh, it's part of a saw. Well, there you go. That is an 831190. Just for future reference. Well, it's something old. I don't know if that's part of the lantern, which the other part was right over there, or if it's just a finial top of something. But I believe that's plug 29. Number 32. Well, as you can see, I'm getting into where the brush has turned into trees, but pretty much this entire section, if you can see Wayno's up there, this was all covered with brush. And it's been clean, removed, and we're getting down to this spot. And by no means that clean of signals. There is still, it's just peppered with ammo. But little by little, let's see what's under here. And I think, I don't know if I mentioned, we're about, I think we're somewhere around number 40. And that looks like a nickel of sorts. Let me dry it out. I just brushed it up a bit. Wow. It's a V-nickel. 
that side's in really good shape. And for date, I think we're looking at 1907, which would make sense. I think 1913 was the last year of the vehicle. I guess it pays to clean, right? Literally, it pays. Five cents. Well, now that I'm in this area, different oh boy my first thought is silver thimble that would be awesome oh I can feel it oh, ho, 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 ho. yes it was under all that brush I just cleaned oh it's in fantastic shape Damn. That's actually the third silver thimble from this site over an eight year stretch. Wow, and that was deep. Wow. Well, I gotta show that to Buenos. Buenos, I was coming over to see you, buddy. What do you got? Yeah, I got a buckle. Oh, you got a big old buckle. Yep. So I'm working this loud, crazy area next to the rocks. It's one of those ones where you pick up the signals from like three feet away. Yeah. So I'm trying to work into it and isolate stuff out and get rid of the big iron so maybe we can see what's underneath it. Right. All right. So you know the tree that goes across the trail? Oh, yeah. There's a big pile near the rocks? Yeah. Well, I swung under the tree. It was a shotgun signal. Yep. Is that a V nickel? It's a V nickel. <laughs> wow. I can see the V from here and I don't even got my specs on. Right? So I'm like, well, I've gone that far. Pick up all that stuff. I moved it. Right. You ready for this one? Put your seatbelt on. Okay. This was under the brush that I just moved. Oh, wow. Look at that, huh? That's beautiful. That's silver. Mm-hmm. Imagine that, huh? Most of the time we find them, like you've seen, Picking in this area, all I found was like a little chunk of one. Yep, but crazy when you, like you said, move stuff. Areas that I've avoided, you know what I mean? Trying to break down some of that noise and, I mean, don't get me wrong, I pulled a lot of oh, I know out, of, out of here just to get that. This was just a piece of strap, it was like that wide and it was ringing up almost like a file wood, so I dug it. Other than that. The nail that was in the hole with that but this buckle had an aura like that I'm, I'm serious like this you couldn't even get near that tree it was so loud right, so I so looked for the highest peak and I said I'll attack it there so if there's something else in there now you'll hear it yep good job keep it up right same with you <laughs> thanks well the trail side looks a lot cleaner now which is great because people walk through here all the time and you know, we cleaned up the ground and found some cool stuff. So that's what several hours of cleaning in front of the cellar hole will get you. Lots of randoms, lots of junk. But again, a coin, a silver thimble, a couple other relics. That makes for a very satisfying day. And always, a reason why I carry trash bags, you know, grocery store bags. Oh yeah. So if any of you is, you know, 
play the numbers. Play uh, 8, 3, 11, 90. I don't know how many numbers you need, but you never know. 8, 3, 11, 90. And there's my uh, surface find of the day, this little guy. So I'm gonna clean this up. We're gonna go over for one more with Wainos. All right, what's, uh, what's the confidence level here? Uh, I'd say probably medium. It's a little bit above where 22s fall, so could be you, anything. How many do you think you dug today, honestly? Probably 30, 33, somewhere around there. Wow, that's crazy, yeah. amongst all the other junk. Right, but think all the clutter I get out of the ground. Yeah, we're making progress here. Yeah. All right, let's see these numbers. All right. That doesn't sound too bad. There's a lot going on in there. It is. Hey, you nailed a good one for the last one. Well, the one more with Wainos, right. change purse frame. All right, been a long time. I think I've only ever dug one of them and it was just like a little piece of it. Yeah, lay that on the hand so we can see it. Nice, Wainos. Yep, that was a pretty bouncy signal too. We were like, what, uh, 58 up to 70? Yeah. Good job, man. Yeah, definitely.